So welcome back to this video. In the last video, we have completed this UI and we have also installed the Flutter image picker package as you can see here. In this video, we are going to implement the image picking functionality from camera and gallery. So let's move on to this. If you haven't watched the previous video, please go ahead and watch it to understand the code structure and all. I'll be moving forward from here. So now let's complete our on-press functions here. We have four on-press functions, two of which we are going to complete in this video. So for this, first of all, I'll create a new function over here and some variables also in our stateful widget. So first I'll create a file which can be null and I'll call it media and uh, let's say it like this and you need to import this file okay it's not imports by default so go ahead like this and import dot io it's a colon like this and your file will be automatically imported from there now i'll create two functions uh, void pick image from camera pick image from camera and it should be an async function uh, now what uh, what else do i need to uh, make uh, it's an async function so now what else do i need to make this thing work let's head over to this uh, image picker plugin uh, repository and what we can see here is we need a picker so we'll copy this line of code to initialize our picker Just below this media, I'll initialize this thing as well. And as you can see, it is giving import errors. So I'll hit control space and I'll hit enter to import this. So what it did is it actually imported this library. That's all. Now moving on, we need to import uh, the capture from photo feature, right? So I'll copy this line from here. And I'll simply write it down here. Okay. So now if you see uh, one thing here that this is an X file, okay. And what we have created over here is a file. So I'll show you how to convert between those things just in a bit. But let's uh, add some if else before that. If, if uh, photo is null, return empty hundred. Okay, so this is not Python and I need to add the syntax like this photo and is also will not work uh, for if photo is equal to equal to null then simply return with a semicolon right uh, else what I want to do since this is a stateful widget right so I want to do set state and in media I want to put put my file now I'm, I'm converting between x file to file okay so watch this carefully photo dot path like this so this will convert the x file into the file so why did i convert this into file uh, because this file can be easily shown by your image picker right uh, the image shower the image widget that the flutter has it understands this file format and not the x file that's why we have converted it like this now uh, if you haven't restarted your application by restart i mean like complete restart close shut down your application uh, like this and then rebuild the application for this to work okay otherwise it will throw some random error that you will not be able to figure out so just go ahead and uh, stop the application and uh, build it again once you have done that uh, what you can do is you can pick up this pick image from camera function and place this inside of this on press uh, now let's test it out so i am going to click on this pick image from camera and as you can see, it has already opened my camera here. If I change the camera mode, you can see uh, my camera is visible here. And if I hit press, it is asking me to retry or OK. The standard functionality which you will expect, OK? So now it is the uh, the image that I captured is being stored in the memory, right? Uh, in the second half of this video, I'll show you how to display that as well. But there is a second functionality that we need to implement that is pick image from gallery, right? So I'll copy this same function here and change its name from camera to gallery. Gallery, like this. And I'll just change the source, image source from camera to gallery here, like this. The logic remains the same. And hit save. 
After that, I need to also call this function in pick image from gallery. So I'll just come here and write pick image from gallery like this. Hit save and it should be working fine. Let's pick image from gallery. And as you can see, my gallery opens up and I can select the image. And currently nothing happens because we are not showing the image anywhere. So now in the second half of the video, let's try to figure out how to show this image actually on the screen. The image is currently being stored in the memory and not being displayed to us, okay? So let me just go down here. Let's try to figure out how we can show our image. So instead of the Flutter logo, what I want to do is, here I have this Flutter logo. I'll just cut this thing from here. And in the child of this thing, what I want to write here is uh, the variable name photo or the image. What did I write over here? I have written media, okay. So if media, is equal to or is not equal to null then what do i want to show uh, show here i want to show the actual image right so i'll write image dot file and here the part comes in where you need the file format if i hover over this thing you see this is a file format right that's why we converted it earlier and i'll write media And since I'm already checking the null here, so what I can do here is I can just ignore this null warning and if the file is not present, just show the Flutter logo. So as you can see, since the last image I picked was stored in the memory, so it already is showing me the image. Now let's try it out, pick it from camera. I'll change this to my front camera and let's click a picture. Okay. And if you see my picture is appearing here. So now we have figured out how to work with images, how to pick the image from the camera and how to pick the image from the gallery and show it in your application, right? Now you can do all sorts of stuff like you can compress the image, you can rotate, you can crop, you can like uh, send it over to some server and all and everything. So in the next video, we are going to work on the functionality for the video part, how to pick a video from the camera and pick a video from gallery. So stay tuned for that and let's meet you then.